What's up YouTube, Dimex here today, here breaking down the Defenders trailer and it starts off with Misty Knight interrogating Jessica Jones due to stealing evidence from a crime scene and getting her suspect killed, but seconds later, Mac Murdock comes in to save the day. Then we see Luke Cage returning from Seagate Prison and we get a glimpse of Pop's barbershop, which wasn't in the best shape last time we saw it. Then we see Luke Cage getting his coffee with Claire Temple. And I gotta say, Luke Cage, he's a player, man. He's been with Jessica Jones, the Misty Knight, and now Claire? Makes me wonder who's next. Then we see Danny Rand and Colleen Wing returning from Kung Lum, which was missing from the end of season one of Iron Fist. And as they enter in Colleen Wing's dojo, they stumble upon a break in, which leads to Luke Cage beating Iron Fist for the first time. And once Danny realizes he can't beat Luke with regular punches and kicks, he uses the Iron Fist to slug Luke right in the face, which proves to be quite effective. Also, this moment harkens back to when one of Cottonmouth's thugs punched Luke in the face, but that didn't turn out so well. Then we see Electro being revived by the hand, and will probably be used as leverage to get closer to the defenders. Then we get a scene of Danny creating a shockwave from hitting Luke Cage, which could be due to a disagreement between one another, seeing that's how superhero teams always are, they're always fighting amongst one another, and then they come together in the end. Then we see Sigourney Weaver as Alexandra, who is the main villain of the defenders, and apparently she's supposed to be the true leader of the hand, but her role is still a mystery seeing that she's not a character from the comics that I know of. Then we see the return of Stick trying to unite the Defenders in order to defeat the Hand. And I gotta say Stick is one of my favorite characters in this Netflix Marvel Universe so I'm glad to see him return. Stay down. Then we see Matt wearing Jessica's scarf as a blindfold which pays homage to his original outfit from Daredevil Season 1. And it makes me wonder why he's not wearing his Daredevil costume. Maybe he got destroyed or he just didn't have access to it. Then we see Electra punching Matt through a sheet of glass, which signifies that she is under the hand's control. I'm just hoping we get a Colleen Wing versus Electra fight. That would be badass. And what's a Marvel Netflix show without a hallway fight scene, am I right? My guess is this is the hand's underground base, which was teased in Daredevil Season 2. And we got an earlier tease of this scene with all the defenders in an elevator, getting ready to take down what's left of the hand. And then the last scene of the trailer is a swarm-alike scene where Iron Fist considers that they make a good team, but Jessica Jones disagrees. So let me just think in the comments down below about the Defenders trailer. Are you guys excited for the show? I know a lot of people weren't fans of Iron Fist. I didn't hate Iron Fist. I didn't love it either, but I thought it was fine. My favorite season out of all the Netflix shows is Daredevil Season 2. I really enjoyed the first half of Luke Cage and it kind of dipped for me. And I really love Jessica Jones because of David Tennant's performance as Kilgrave. So let me just think in the comments section down below about the Defenders. Like, subscribe, more content on the Defenders and other series in general. I'm Demolex. Awesome in the future.